Number seven then from the 2019 Advanced Higher Maths. Summation formulae. Used to have to learn them, but you've got them at the front now. For one mark, find an expression for this in terms of n. The sum from 1 to n. Well, split, put it over here. split it apart. So you've got six lots of the sum from r equals 1 to n of r, plus adding up 13. So you could put 13 one, but just leave 13 from 1 to n. Well, that'll be six times whatever this comes to. And adding up the natural numbers comes to a half of n times n plus 1. You can just check that at the front. And adding up n lots of 13 simply gives you 13n. So it's 3n times that bracket. So it's 3n squared plus 3n plus 13n, which comes to 3n squared plus 16n. Then in part B, hence or otherwise. Well, it's going to be hence, isn't it, since you're going to the trouble. Just for two marks here, what does this come to? Of course, that doesn't come to that. That's just the way I've put it. I'll just divert that up the way. Well, it doesn't start at one. This formula here only applies if you count all the way from one, all the terms from the first term to the nth term. This starts part way along. So you'll have to break that into this thing. I only know the formula if I start at 1, so I could do 1 to 20 of 6r plus 13, because that'll just be this with a 20 in it. But I don't want the first p terms. I'm starting at p plus 1. So I'll take away all the terms up to the number p of 6r plus 13. Well, that just means put 20 into this and put p into this. So it's going to be 3 times 20 squared plus 16 lots of 20, minus 3 lots of p squared, plus 16 lots of p. Just to use those brackets liberally there. And of course, when I write that, I should really have had another couple of brackets there, because all of that's been subtracted. Right, so what does that lot come to? Well, that's 400, which makes that 1,200. That's 32 tens minus and that's 3p squared and minus again 16p no just tidy it up so I can reverse the order of those two so that's 1520 so 1520 minus 16p minus 3p squared just to put them into some sort of order